Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a video. And this one, I'm gonna go over everything in the Star Devourer Challenge, including the things you get from it, how it works, and everything. And I'm gonna do the same for Ascension 3. And I'm gonna go over the raise rewards and more. So if you haven't already, do make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and join my Discord server from the description below. And now let's get started. So starting off, what is this Star Devourer Challenge? So the Star Devourer Challenge is a daily challenge in which you can fight a boss, and the more damage you do, the better the rewards you get. From this, you can get three new things. The first one is you can get an Ascension card. Second is you can get the other Ascension card which is advanced and the third new thing you can get is the Devourer of Crystals and you can also get movement tokens alongside with raid keys. Now how it works is that this goes from 0 to 1 million, 1 million to 1 billion, 1 billion to 1 trillion, 1 trillion to 1 P and then 1 P or more. And based off of that the higher the damage you do and meet these criteria, the higher the chance you have to get better stuff and the more amount. So if you do damage more than 1p, you have a 100% chance to get an advanced ascension card along with 30% for 2 and 10% for 3 along with all of these. Now we also have this thing called devourer crystals right over here. Currently we cannot use this in game. As if you check the roadmap I'll put it on the screen. We have a new galaxy coming later on in a few more updates later on. And in that galaxy, I'm guessing these devourer crystals will come in use. Or maybe in a further update, there'll be, there'll be a machine and you can use these. But currently, you can't use this in game, so you shouldn't worry about what they do and if you can't find what to do with them. Because currently, there's no use for them. But I'd recommend collecting them as, anyways, you have to complete your star devourer challenges every day. And yeah. Now, let's talk about the second two things that the star devourer challenge gives you the first one is the advanced ascension card and the second one is the normal ascension card now this is related to ascension and this also moves us on to our next topic ascension 2 and 3 so if you come over here you see the ascension 1 and the ascension 2 machine has been replaced from the one called ascension 3 but fear not um, if you put a champion that hasn't been ascended once, the same your UI will pop up for ascending once, twice and the third time. But if we suppose select a champion that is supposed to be ascended twice, this new UI will pop up. So we will need the same of the two champions as we did before, 50 cosmical essence as we did before as well. But now this thing will be required to send your champions. and. This is the normal ascension card which you get from the devourer challenges and only with this can you ascend your champions along with 50 essence and 2 more of the same. Now if we check ascension 3, so I have my double ascended cosmic Takeshi over here and if we just select him and see we need 3 of the same champions which is honestly crazy alongside with 50 cosmic essence which combined with the Ascension 2 and 3 is in total 110 cosmic essence, which is quite a lot. But also over here, you can see we need the other ascension card, which is the advanced one. And to get Ascension 3, we also we need this one, and we also get it from the devourer challenges. So I'd recommend doing those twice a day, every single day, as you do want to keep collecting these cards. As if you don't have them, you will not be able to ascend your champions. With this, let's talk about what Ascension 3 gives you. So, Ascension 3 pretty much grants you another skin slot. So, if we check over here, you see this another box has been opened up. Now, this is for quirks, this is for the second quirk that you get after ascending twice, and this is the normal accessory inventory that every champion has with them. But now, this new box has opened up, and in this, you can equip another one of these accessories onto your champion and make them even stronger. Now you can only equip one accessory and a skin. So suppose I equip my Takeshi over here and he has the ACS slicer equipped on him right now. So what I'll have to do is come over here, select his skin, equip him and he'll have both the ACS slicer and both the skin. So the skin will pop up here and the slicer will be here and he will get both of the buffs. So if I just come over here to the skin reforging station 
and if I just keep spinning on it, I'll try to go for a perfectionist on both of them. And if I have perfectionist on both of them, I pretty much max out as much as I could for Ascension 3. And with that, my Takeshi could easily get around 1.23 or even 5 billion damage. And that's honestly insane as Ascension 3 gives you another accessory slot and accessories are a major part as if you just see here this is boosting my damage by plus 100 percent and if i just suppose and equip it my damage is 650 million so these accessories are a big part and if you want to increase your damage potential and make a really really good team you just want to ascend your champions twice or even thrice and yeah also ascension 3 grants you a major buff of getting talents above 100 and what this means is pretty much if you just come over here to this talents place and select our champion suppose we have ss and a on him and this can limit to 100 if we get sss this number on the left hand column but if we ascend him three times and he's triple ascended it can go up to apparently 150 level which is absolutely insane and that's one really really important thing as well boosting your damage and this will pretty much increase above 100 and there's a new symbol i'll put it up on screen and that is what it will show after it is 100 and um, yeah now coming over to this raid i've seen that many people are a bit confused how it works so if you just start uh, easy raid right now as they buff impossible raids a bit more and if we just turn the graphics to the max we can see around the map so pretty much you see that there are titans all around spread around, around this map and you just keep on killing them and what you need to do in this raid is pretty much kill every single titan on this map currently then there will be another round so you'll be you're in the first round right now then we start round 2 and it will spawn more titans then after that or maybe after one more round will come the mini boss the armored titan he spawned right over here and after you kill him you'll have to defeat a few more waves of titans and after that the big boss or the main boss is spawned over here and after you defeat him you'll be able to get the chest and everything so people were thinking that this stone would open up and you can go outside and kill the final boss but in reality you've got to stay inside this this falls and this whole caved area and you pretty much want to kill titans everywhere the titans spawn over here and over here as well and let me show you the secret spots for the new chests so here's the mini boss they spawned in and we just killed him and after we killed him so we can finally get the side chest so you gotta kill the mini boss at least and then you are able to get the side chest so the first chest is right over here to the left of the place where the mini boss spawns into this house you come in open this chest and there you go and the second chest is right over here across this waterfall or this river thing so you just want to get past this come over here and there will be like basement and this is the same place where you get the cosmic for free with the quest and i told it in my last video so you can check it out and then we just come down here and the chest used to spawn here but i think it wasn't supposed to spawn here so it hasn't spawned this time and um, yeah i'm not sure about this one but the chest will always spawn around there to the left hand side of the mini boss or the boss titan that spawns around there and that is the location of the side chest now i also wanted to show you guys the skins that we get from this raid so starting off we have the skin for the new mythic the hunter right over here or Ellen jaeger and as you all know if you have seen the anime he transforms into an attack titan so here's the picture of it i currently don't have any of the skins but i'll just be showing you the transformation and the pictures so this is what he looks like in his attack titan form and his transformation honestly looks really really cool and yeah then shifting on birds we got captain or levi and this is the cosmic champion of this new world and here is the cosmic skin and here is the transformation it's not much change compared to 
Aaron Yeager, but um, yeah, it still looks cool. It's just the color variant and some more things. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed and this video helped you out. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe below and comment down any ideas you want me to do or any big ideas and what you would like to see next. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.